In a Seattle survey, 94% of American Indian and or Alaska Native women reported being raped or sexually coerced. That's according to a 2010 report by the Urban Indian Health Institute. 148 Native American and urban areas participated in the survey, half of whom were homeless. 82% said the incident happened before they were 18 years old. And of the cases reported to police, only 8% resulted in a conviction. When I saw the results of the survey, it was almost like my heart had stopped. I couldn't believe the information that was contained within it. It took eight years for the results of the survey to be released. Abigail Echohawk, chief research officer at the Seattle Indian Health Board, found the documents in 2016 and worked towards its publication. She said the results were never released because leaders believed the information would lead to negative portrayals of the community. She said movements like Me Too helped change that conversation. This isn't the first study to explore the high number of sexual violence among Native women. A 2016 Department of Justice report found 56% of Native women surveyed in the U.S. experienced sexual violence in their lifetime. This Seattle survey shows this number might actually be higher in urban areas where 71% of Native people live. And I think what this data tells us is that Native communities need to be the ones leading the way to work with our own community. Echo Hawk, who is a sexual assault survivor, herself hopes the information can pave the way for better policies and funding. She is currently working on similar surveys in other cities.